Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nurse Zara here and today's video is all about nursing essentials for your clinical places. Everything that I'm going to say in this video has been tried and tested by yours personally. I wish that I had gone into placements with this knowledge. Like there are so many things that I have learned over the years that I wish I had on my first day of placement just to make my life that little bit easier. Who wouldn't want that? And that's what this video is going to be all about. The number one thing on my list of nursing essentials is good footwear. And I'm going to split this into two categories. One is a good set of nursing shoes and two is another set of traveling slash comfortable trainers. So the first thing that every nursing student needs as part of their placements is a good set of nursing shoes. If you do not have the correct footwear for your placements, your feet will not be happy. And not having happy feet means not a very happy nurse. When picking the right footwear for yourself, you need to ensure that it's in line with your hospital policy and of course university policy as well. Most nursing shoes have to be black and they need to be of a wipeable material because if any bodily fluids did go onto your shoes, you can easily use a chlorhexidine wipe or an antibacterial wipe to clean your shoes and that is it. So there are so many different brands out there, but just find the one that's right for you. I personally use Skechers that worked for me. They are a great brand already for footwear and they were also accepted as suitable shoes whilst on placements. So you can't really go wrong. They are a bit pricey, but it's worth the investment. My second thing within footwear, so like a subcategory, is to invest in a set of trainers slash comfortable shoes. When you go for your clinical placements, you have your nursing shoes, but you must not be wearing those same shoes when you are traveling on public transport in your own personal car. I cannot emphasize that enough. You need to change your shoes and you need to get into a habit of changing your shoes. It's not sanitary, you don't know what's on your shoes when you're in the placements, when you're in the wards, when you're going into the community as well. So you need to have a second set of shoes. Again, I do recommend the Skechers brand. They have some really good shoes that are also light. So yeah, two sets of shoes. One is your nursing shoes and two is a set of trainers slash comfortable shoes for traveling in. Number two on my list of nursing essentials is a water bottle. Nurses are notorious for not drinking enough water. So get yourself a nice pretty water bottle that's gonna at least encourage you to do so. This water bottle is from a brand called Chili's. This works for me and you can get any water bottle. There are so many great brands out there. Again, like you can't really go wrong. The best thing that I love about this brand is it keeps my water cold for a very long time. I put a couple of ice cubes in here in the morning and then I top up my water during the day and it keeps it really nice and cold, which is the best thing when you get really hot and sweaty on the wards and you just need a cold drink. So this is perfect. Another thing that I do want to say about this brand, it is a little bit more expensive and you can get cheaper alternatives that promise the same thing of keeping water cold and hot for a long period. I wanted something that will last a long time that I don't need to buy every year. You don't really want to be worrying about your water bottle. You've already got so many expensive as a student, but I think these are one of the things that if you invest in from the start, it will last you a long time and so definitely get a water bottle. The third item on my list is hand sanitizer. This is from Dettol, antibacterial hand hygiene with aloe vera. There is no specific reason why I have this one. I actually got this for free. Having a hand sanitizer is a great thing to carry as a student. Yes, you will have hand sanitizers around the hospital, but it's not a bad thing to carry with you and they're really small as well so they fit perfectly into your pocket. I also believe this is a necessity when you're on a community placement like district nursing where you may not always have access to a sink and hand wash so this is a great thing to carry. In addition 
to your hand gel you need to carry hand cream. I highly recommend the Neutrogena brand hand cream. This is tried and tested. It is the only thing that has worked for my hands and I have tried so many different brands. I have tried high-end brands, low-end brands, even steroid creams. I've even tried creams that are specifically aimed at nurses and none of it has worked for me as much as the Neutrogena brand has. And yeah, that's what I recommend. You will definitely need this and get into a good habit of once you've washed your hands, you also apply cream afterwards. The fifth thing that you absolutely need is a fob watch. Please do not go into your clinical placements without this. I was once on a placement that used to send students home if they did not have their nursing fob watch with them. Not only does it tell you the time but it's also a really integral part of our nursing care. We need this to undertake certain nursing observations such as counting respiratory rates to recording beats per minute. You also need to give certain medications over a specific period of time. So you need a reference like your watch on you, handy on your uniform to undertake that accurately. So please do not kid around when it comes to this. They are inexpensive. This one is actually from the Royal College of Nursing and I got this free when I signed up as a student. Number six on my list is a lanyard or a badge reel. You will need either one of these to carry your ID badge. I personally used a lanyard and the main reason was I just thought it was safer. It goes over your neck and you can't really lose it in that way. Just make sure that the lanyard that you do decide to use is professional. So that could be an NHS lanyard, it can be a lanyard of your trust, it can even be the lanyard of your university. Um, so yeah, either or is absolutely fine. Number seven on my nursing essentials is pens. I hate going to placement and having to rummage through my bag because I cannot find a pen. So what I do is I buy them in bulk, like this, and I just keep this box in my bag. And so if I ever did run out of ink in my pen, I know I've got a backup. Top tip, not tell anyone that you've got a box of pens because trust me, by the end of the week, that box will be finished. Just keep it a secret. Well, technically now, if you're watching this video from work, you always know I'll have a pen, so. I kind of just also exposed myself. I recommend these pens because they have four colours on it. What's really good about this is it's got different colours of course and when you are writing on your handover sheet you can use the red or the green or even the blue to highlight specific things that is important on the handover sheet. What's also really good about these pens is if you have got an intensive care unit placement, a high dependency unit placement, you actually need these kinds of pens and that is because certain observations that you have to do have to be written in either red or green so this is actually just a good pen brand or pen style to invest in from the get-go another nursing essential is a pen torch this is important for our neurological observations when we're checking pupil dilation it's also important when patients are on opioid medications and again you need to check for pupil dilation as well. Number nine on my list of nursing essentials is a diary. So this is the one that I used as a final year student and I really liked this because it was small, it didn't take up too much room, lightweight, you can't really go wrong and it does the job as a diary and this is what I used on my placements as well as university as well. I got this from Typo. This is great to have and it's a really pretty pattern and Typo do some really great diaries as well so definitely have a look. The tenth item on my list is a little small notebook. This is from the Royal College of Nursing and I got this for free. This is the one that I used throughout my three years as a student nurse. Carrying a small notebook with me as a student is something that I still practice today as a registered nurse. This is the one that I have as a registered nurse. There's a there's a bit of difference in the styles. This is very professional. This is more so sparkly. You can tell I love my sparkle. <laughs> Throughout your shift, you're going to be exposed to so many different medications, different terms, you're going to learn new procedures, and you're even going to have so many questions that 
you won't get an opportunity to ask there and then. So having a little small notebook with you to make just jot down your ideas or jot down little things is a great thing to have with you. Another nursing essential. I really recommend investing in a reflection journal. I recommend the reflection journal from the Happy Planner Co. When I was a student I used to write a lot of reflections and if you follow me on my nursing page nursara underscore UK I also post some of my reflections online. Reflecting is so important not only as a student nurse but as a registered nurse and if you can get into a habit early on writing down at the end of your shift what's something good you can take from the day what's something that you've learned from the day all these different reflective points and you write them down you can then look back on it later and just see how far you've progressed now this point I'm going to make it very specific to 2020 and I am talking about the coronavirus Oh my goodness, what does coronavirus have to do with this video on nursing essentials? Well guys, you're going to be student nurses who are potentially going to have your placements in the midst of the pandemic. We don't know when it's going to be over. So I feel it's very important to include this as part of your list. Whether you are still on placement, whether you're going to be starting your placements in September onwards, have this with you. Get into a habit of carrying surgical masks. These are the ones that I use going to work now. This is what 2020 has demanded of all of us to do. So there is no harm in wearing this and it is only for the protection of others and of course for yourself. Another important item on my list is a pocket wallet. Now you need this in your clinical placement to keep your essential documents in is what I used as a student and you can tell I used this as a student because it's got a bit of a bit of battle scars a bit of tough love but she has served me well for three years did not need to buy a new one every year and I got this from Wilkinson I like the pattern it's pink and it's got cupcakes on it so I was happy I don't think they do this pattern anymore this was from you know a couple of years back and I was actually praised by my mentors on certain placements because my documents were always kept clean there was no weird coffee spillage on there no rips and tears on there and that's because I always protected it with this kind of wallet and they are really inexpensive they're lightweight so it will fit perfectly in your bag oh so it goes without saying with all of these things that you need for nursing school you need a really good bag it's heavy there's still some stuff in here this is the one that i use i would say the best thing to have is a rucksack and a really good quality one this one is from victoria's secret and it lasted me three years what i like about this brand as well is put it in the washing machine after each placement that i had and it would be as good as gold there was no rips or tears to anything it's still in really good condition a rucksack's also really good like if you're traveling as a student so i used to use the trains quite a lot and because of all the things that i would carry a rucksack just made the most sense to me and this is the same thing that i use as a registered nurse so i I'm happy. So that is it from me. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have anything to add to my list. And remember to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video with Nessara. That's it from me. Take care and stay safe.